the way you guys made this record, it was just a, I think it stands up a little better. And it, it's sparse, it's psychedelic, it's kind of punky at times, like in Go Your Own Way with these crazy guitars we're talking about. And then you do the dissonant thing in Goldust Woman. It's just a very eccentric, beautiful thing. It was almost a selfish record, I think, in some ways, you know? I mean, they, everybody did what they wanted to do. There was no outside influences, really. We just did what we wanted. We would pop up a tape and uh, we'd walk into the studio, and what do you want to do today? Um, I don't know, let's, let's pull up uh, Goldust and, and see if we can work on that. And, and so we'd do that, and then we'd put that one away, and we'd, well, let's pull up Dreams and see what else. And Chris, Chris might go, I'm gonna, think, I'm gonna play an organ here. Okay, that's good. So then we'd set up for the organ, and then she'd record the organ, and then, okay, that's enough. You know, or maybe we'll do a little background work, and then let's go to another song. So we, would, we wouldn't get too tired on any song. We wouldn't just beat it to death and finish it. But, so over 12 months, we'd keep pulling these tapes out and, and uh, you know, adding another little layer and color. And you know, what about that? You know, and we, interesting thing about it, I almost got fired on this, this job because or Richard and I, because we couldn't get a, a drum sound. To, we couldn't figure out the secret of working at the record plant. The sounds were really, the studio was very dry and very tight. And so you had to really do a lot of work on the console to make the microphones find the sweet spot of the instruments. And so we spent five days working on this drum song and to the drum sound uh, on a song called Keep Me There. It was Christine's song. And we couldn't, we couldn't get it, we finally, in desperation, finally got the sound, and it's in the book, I won't repeat it, but, so, this song, Keep Me There, it was, was amazing that through, I mean, it was, it, the song wasn't very good. I mean, we actually had this song that was, what are we gonna do with this, this dog? Uh, the only thing interesting about the song is right about halfway through, they went to like this breakdown, and John Movie played this bass line, boom, ba ba boom, ba 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 boom, boom, and then, the, the whole band started doing a solo. Lindsay started playing a live solo. And this was live. I mean, this was just the way it came off on the, on the first take we took of it. Uh, so we used to try to, we kept, kept trying to work on this song. And it was, this chorus was horrible. And, uh, Christine didn't know how to fix it. We were thought we were gonna throw this away. On the 11th month, we, Lindsay comes in and says, you know, let's bring up Keep Me There again. And, he says, I have this idea. He says, I think if we erase everything, he said, can erase everything, put blank tape in, in, and then cut it right up to that, to the bridge, to where the boom, 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 boom starts. And then we, he had Mick go out and play this. I mean, he, Lindsay had figured it all out in his head. Shows what a genius he is. He says, let's put down a kick drum. And so Mick went out and recorded this kick drum, you know, doom, doom. And then Lindsay says, okay, I gotta play an instrument. He says, what shall I play? He started playing the guitar. No, that's not really the, with this right sound. And Lindsay had all these instruments, and we said, "What about the dobro, which is a steel steel faced guitar, so it's really got an edgy sound." And so I played the dobro, and here you got the dobro, and the um, and the and the kick drum, and then he adds a bass to it. So at that point, they said, "Okay, now what are we going to do with it?" This, this this we still didn't have really a great chorus. It was still keep me their chorus, but it sounded a lot better. Stevie had this song that she had had been thinking about called the chain, chain keep me together. And she says, well, I think that would work in that chorus, we could sing this stuff. So they go home and they all, they all get together and they all work on the, on the, uh, on the lyrics. And they come back and, it's, and they, they sing the chain and the harmonies and all this stuff. And so they all got writer's credit. I think it's really interesting that that was the first song they recorded. Yep. The last song we finished and the only song they ever wrote together. You know, so it, it just, there was a thing that came together with this band and I think it was pretty miraculous. That is a great track. Damn the dark, damn the light, man. Those lyrics are amazing.